All right, first of all, I want to welcome everybody to the RBBS Logistics Learning Center and the RBBS Transport LLC weekly training. Um, as you all know, we do weekly training live online every Thursday at 1.15, same back channel, same back time. So let's go ahead and get started. We have a lot to cover, a lot to cover today. So let's, let's, let's see if we can get it all covered today. I um, want to welcome everybody. As you all know, everyone is muted, so we don't have the background noise. But I want to welcome everybody to today's training. And we've got a lot to go over today. We've got some new um, load boards. Um, we've got access to literally thousands. When I say we have access to thousands of loads that you all can access now. So it's not like you're getting just 100 loads. You're actually getting access to over, over a, a couple of thousand loads. And we've got some... Um, um, uh, we've got access to some private load boards, to some private um, um, direct shippers load boards. So we're going to go over we're going to go over those, go over how to use um, some of those load boards and how to to take advantage of it and how to use it to make you all some great money. We're also going to go over how to um, uh, we're going to we're getting back into the auto hauling. We got a couple of of auto hauler loads that we need to find um, loads on, need to find trucks on and carriers for, and I'm going to show you all how to make money from that as well. We're also going to go over some of the procedural stuff that we've been doing on how to submit your loads, um, how to go on, get onto the load board, how to log in, how to do that type of stuff. So we've got a lot of new people that have come on, and they seem to be having trouble doing that. Also, we need to, we need to discuss um, um, availability because we've got some drivers who have been calling in, Looking for loads, we've had carriers call in looking for loads, and they've been hitting the extensions, but no one is picking up, and that's becoming a big problem. So let's make sure that if you're available, let's be available. Um, um, maybe we need to start having a login every morning for everyone who is available to at least hit on our Facebook page that they are available and give you extensions so that the interns will know who to route the calls to. Because as of right now, what they're doing when they call in, they start at the top and they start routing them in, and they just work their way down, and then they work their way back up. Now, that's how they're doing it now, but it's, but that doesn't seem to be working because when they're sending, because when they're routing them to the different extensions, people are not picking up, and that is becoming kind of a problem. Um, not picking up those um, those calls when they come in, because as you know, those those, those drivers that, when they call up, they're hot, they're ready, they're looking for loads. You know, they you know they want to you know they're calling up on a on one of our broker loads and they want to grab it. So we need to be available so that they can grab it. All right, uh, we're gonna go ahead and start sharing our screen and get everybody on board. All right, all right. First thing I want to cover, we're gonna talk about is y'all know we got access to a whole bunch of um, loads now. Um, we got access to about 91 free load boards, and this is it. Uh, this is what it looks like when we sh send it out to you all. Here it is right here. This is the, the link, 91 free boards for truckers is what we have. Now, from this, you notice here you've got a lot of people like Admiral Merchants, uh, Motor Freight, Allen, Lord Company. These are all private Shippers. These are direct shippers. Now I don't know if you all understand the power of this. This is this is this is this is the next best thing as to having shippers contracted. Okay, when you can access shippers that would allow us to come on and look at their loads, grab their loads, and try to find drivers to run their loads. That's a, that's almost the exact same thing as having those shippers contracted. Okay, uh, but these are open source shippers. They want their loads moved. They need to have a move. Now, some of the names on here are big names. Like, let's look at this one, J.B. Hutt. Everybody knows who J.B. Hutt is, okay? Let me find them here again. There we go. And that's J.B. Hutt. You pull up their load board, and you can act, and, and J.B. Hutt has thousands of loads. So if you're looking for, so if you, so if you all are telling me where do I find loads at, where do I find loads, this is where you find loads, okay? Utilize the tools and the resources that we have for you to locate these loads. If you want to know where to find loads, this is where you find loads. And and we're talking loads across the board. Here's reefer loads from J.B. Hutt. Here's one that's uh, going from Abervale, Alabama, and it needs to go over to, where does it need to go to? San Antonio, Texas. 
120 miles empty, 474 miles loaded. Okay, it's one load. The weight is 43k, and you have to call them, I guess, to get the information on it as far as what it's gonna cost, what they're gonna pay to run that load. And if you need to look at the booking info, there it is right there. You call um, JB Hut. Uh, we can either sign up with them, or you can sign it, or, or you can sign up with them and sign in and create your own account with them, and you can start picking up loads from JB Hut. Um, so <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what to tell you when you tell me when you tell me where do I find loads, and we send this out to you, and so you all can access these loads. And this literally is going to get you access to more than a thousand loads at any time. I mean, JB Hutt has probably a thousand loads themselves um, that, that are available. If you just want to search for, you can search for loads one way. You can search for loads round trip. Uh, that gets your load in, get your load back. So utilize these tools that we're giving you all to go out and find these loads. Other brokerage firms, you know, I don't know if they give their there are people these types of these types of tools. These tools are going to help you build your book of business, and that's why you're here. Each and every one of you are here to build your book of business, to build up your clientele. So when you get ready to move on to your own brokerage firm, or you get ready to step into a in with another uh, firm that is you know bigger, more prominent, or whatever the case may be, and they want you to bring your book of business, this is how you do it. This is how you build your book of business, and this is how you get your clientele. So, but, but you all need to utilize this. I mean, we put it out there for you. We send it to you. We give it to you for a reason. So let's make use of it. Um, um, and it's not just, like I say, there are <laughs> almost 100 um, um, access to, to, to private load boards, um, uh, just all different types of um, – some of them are going to be have are going to have active loads. Some some are not. Like that one doesn't have any active loads. You may have to join them. Let's see here. Let's go through one. Let's just grab one. Brooks is here. See what they look like. Let's go through them. Here's some. Here's one that's got a whole bunch of loads here. If you look at all these loads, this is. I mean, this is just an abundance of of loads that you all could be accessing. And could be, you know, calling trucks on on any given day, all day long, really. Um, and you click on some of this stuff, and it pulls up and tells you where the loads are and where the trucks are. It picks up at here, delivers there. It's a dispatch information right there. You call them up and ask them for the information, and they'll give it to you. That's why they haven't posted on here. They've got it on here so that they give it to you. If you pull it up, it pulls it up up here. You can notice here, it even tells you what that load is paying. Pays $450. Uh, that's your pro number. It's ready on the 19th. You pick up here. That's a consignee, your dispatcher. You know, phone number, pays, trusted carrier. So, you know, I mean, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, here's one that's paying 6800 bucks. There's a load here. Uh, going from picks up in Arizona, Casa Grande, the consignee is Florida, Haines City. Uh, that's where it's going. The, the consignee is where it dropped off at, um, by the way. So, so when you see something that says uh, consignee, that's where the load drops, okay? Uh, so it's picking up in Arizona. It's dropping off in Florida, okay? Um, that's a good load. It's paying 6800 bucks. okay? Okay. Um, <laughs> I mean, I don't know what to tell you all. If you all are looking for good loads, this is how you find the good loads. We, we, you know, uh, uh, thanks to uh, I think Courtney Stevens is not uh, Courtney Phoenix is the one who um, kind of found this source for us and put it over to us. But this is this is why we're here um, to help you all to be able to access this type of stuff and be able to get the type of loads and stuff you need. Uh, does anyone have any questions about these uh, about these free load boards that we? These these shippers direct load boards. Does anybody have it? any questions about them? By the way, you can repost these loads. So if you want to, you know, take some of these loads and repost them on on some load boards, repost them on social media networks because these are on a 
these are direct shipper loads on private load boards. So you, so, so you can grab them and repost them. Okay. Now remember, when you're reposting them, um, remember to let people know that they're going to get 85 percent of that 6,800. That's if if we're going to broker it. Now, if we're not going to broker, the best thing would be is to just dispatch these loads. I'm gonna be honest with you. That would be your best bet. Just dispatch them. Because you've got the 1600, let them know that that's what they're getting, and we get 10%. Okay? Because if you're going to broker it, you've got to take off the 15%, one for the factoring and one for what's called. So, you, so if we're going to broker it, you've got to take off, take off the, fi the 15% and broker it. But it's going to be a lot easier because these are not contract loads, but they are direct shipper loads. So we can broker them because they are coming from the shippers. Now, some of these companies are not direct shippers, like J.B. Hutt. They're not a direct shipper. J.B. Hutt is a, they're a trucking company and a brokerage firm. Okay, so we have to dispatch those. So the best way to do this, to avoid any confusion and avoid any chance of double brokering, would be to just dispatch these loads. And, 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 and you should have any problem finding someone to pull a load for $6,800. I mean, come on, you know, and and all you're doing is just acting as a dispatcher. Easy to keep track of, easy to track your clientele, easy to track the load, you know, book the load, shoot all the information, your information, carrier's information, shipper's information or broker's information, send all that over, right? Confirmation sheet comes over. You shoot the confirmation sheet up over to them with with the invoice on this load. That invoice would be for six hundred and eighty dollars. Half of that would be yours. Six hundred and eighty dollars. Half of that would be yours if you book this load. That's three hundred and forty dollars on one load. Come on, people. <laughs> I mean, I'm not talking French here, and 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 it's, and it's really not that complicated, but it does require everyone. If, you, if you're really going to do this, if you're really going to be good at this, if you're really going to make money at this, you need to get up, you need to put together your plan on how you're going to approach it, on how you're going to, you know, contact, you know, these shippers, how you're going to re-put these, you're going to take these loads and you're going to put them back out on load board. Now, I'm going to show you all a practical way of, 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 of booking these loads like this, okay? Remember, we have one, two, three load board, right? All right, let's go to 123 Load Board. Let's go to our truck locator real quick. Well, on 123 Load Board, I'm going to show you a practical way of doing this. We're going to take these and we're going to put these side by side. Where is that load at? Was that a JB Hut load? No, that wasn't a JB Hut load. That was another load. What load was that one that had that? What load was that where we had that? There it is right there. All right, so we got these two right side by side. We got we got 123 Load Board and we got the load that we're looking at that's paying the 6800 I'm going to show you how to find trucks for that load. I'm going to show you a practical way of finding trucks for that load. We're going to utilize our truck locator uh, thing here, okay? Um, if we want to look for uh, trucks that are in this area, where is this load going? This load is picking up in where? In Arizona, all right? Let's see what we got in Arizona. Do we have anything in Arizona? We may not have anything in Arizona. Yeah, we do. No, that's Arkansas. My bad. Arizona is AZ, right? Yeah. Right? Isn't that correct? Yeah, Arizona is AZ. Okay, we got something in Arkansas. Arkansas, Arkansas. Don't look like we have anything in Arizona. All right, let's see if we can find a way to search Arizona. If we can't search it there, let's try it over at Truckers Pass. Do, 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 do. But what we are going to do? Okay, here we go. So this path. Maybe somebody stuck out you all's way for brokers. Okay, let's sign in. The truck is path. Real quick. All right, we're in truck is path. Uh. Let's see here. Let's go for a truck search. All right, here we go. Truck search. That's Arizona. Arizona. Um, what type of load was that? Was that a flatbed load? That was a a reefer load, right? Was that a reefer load? 
Does anybody remember what that load was? Type reefer. Yeah, it was a reefer load. All right, so we're in we're in Trucker's Path, okay? We're in Trucker's Path. We went in. We put in Arizona. Now we're going to put in reefer. We're going to put in reefer, and we're going to search. Let's just take out the flatbed. We're going to search for reefer. All right, look at this. All of a sudden, we got trucks. We're in Arizona, right? We got a load in Arizona, <laughs> right? So what we started doing is we started looking up these loads, looking at these trucks, okay, and we start calling them and asking them where they headed, how far they at, you know. Now you know where they're at, okay, and you know they're empty. So when you call them up, you know where they're, where they're at, you know they're empty. Then the next thing to do is to see how far they are from this load. That's that's your next thing you want to do. You want to find out how far are they from. Um, just load pick it up in Casa, in Casa Grande. Okay, it's in Casa Grande. All right. So now we got to find out how far are they from um, Casa Grande on these loads. All right, here we go. Um, this guy right here. These are carriers that are in Arizona. See where he's at. He's in Tucson, um, Arizona. So now we need to find out how far away is Tucson from Casa Grande, okay? And that's real simple. That's real simple. All you got to do is do what? Go to Google, right? You go to Google real quick. You put in Casa Grande, Arizona, to Tucson. Arizona. See how, you see how simple this is? Uh, I'm going to put in Costa Grande, Arizona to Tucson, Arizona. Wait, wait here. Let me show you. Let me show you. I got Tucson spelled right. Uh, well, here we go right here. Tucson. Tucson. Tucson, Arizona. Here we go. To Tucson, and we're gonna hit search, and look what it does. Pulls it right up. Look, that's only 74 miles. 74 miles. So this, so this guy in Tucson, who's sitting right there in Tucson, is is well within striking range of this load. Well within striking range of a load that's paying 68. Hundred dollars heading down to Florida. You think if you call that guy, that guy might be interested in that load? Okay. Does anybody? Does anybody? Is there anybody out there who thinks that that that, that this guy might be interested in that load? Uh, I think so. Okay. I mean, if I'm sitting in if I'm sitting in Tucson and I'm sitting there and I mark my truck available and I mark my truck where let's say, hey, you know, I'm available. I need a load. Okay, I'm sitting here. There I am right there. There I am right there. I'm sitting there. And this guy, and this load is only 74, 75 miles away. And I call him up and say, hey, I got a load that's about 75 miles uh, from you. It needs to be picked up on tomorrow going down to Florida. It's paying six to 800 bucks. You want it? Anybody care to, you know, chime in and tell me what that guy's going to say? <laughs> okay. If it was me, I'd be like, okay, yeah, let me, let me grab that. Uh, let's go. And that would make you $340 on that one load. Now, I don't care, you know, to me, that's a good payday. That's a good payday for one load, okay? And this process can be repeated over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. What I'm trying to get you all to do is start thinking a little bit outside of the box, okay? Start, don't, don't always think the way that all the other brokers think or the way everyone else does things. You know, uh, okay, well, you know, I got loads. I'm going to sit back and wait for people to call me on my loads. Yeah, you're going to starve to death doing that. I'm going to tell you this right now. If you're waiting for people to call you on loads and you think you're going to make a living off of the loads that we provide you with and just waiting on people to call you, you are going to starve to death, Okay? The way you make money in this business, the way you make money in this business, you have to be proactive. You have to be proactive. You have to sit down and develop a 
kind of a uh, um, um, your profile of doing business, okay? Uh, your mode of doing business, how you are going to approach this on a day to day basis, okay? And when you and when you do it that way, kind of get it set in your in your daily thing of this. These are the steps you go through, okay? Utilize more than just what's right in front of you. Learn how to utilize all of the assets that we give you all to come up with each, come up with your own way of of generating business. Okay, because you've got enough stuff here that everything you see that got pulled up right here, this is all stuff that you all have access to. You saw all the stuff at the top of this um, thing here? All this is stuff that we, that we provide you all with. Okay, each and every one of you have access to it. What you've got to figure out is how you're going to approach and what's your best way of approach to make this work for you. This is all money. Everything you see up here is all money. This is money. This is money. This is money. Everything you see up here, all, all of this is money, and it's waiting for you to actually get in and access it. Okay? So, and this is how you do it. All right? Now, um, any questions on... Does anybody have any questions? Any comments? Any questions or comments on the preload boards that we have you all that you all have access to right now on the nine one three load boards? Does anybody have any questions on it? Anybody does anybody not know how to pull those up? Okay. All right, so I, I, I'm assuming everyone knows how to pull those up. I'm assuming everyone can hear me. Let me let me just do a quick mic check here. Um, can you all hear me? Yeah, I can hear you fine, Kevin. All right, great. All right, all right. So we don't have any questions on that. Okay, everybody knows how to access those nine and one free load boards. So since since these are direct from the um, supplier we can go ahead and broker and dispatch these yeah you, you can broker and dispatch most of them I wouldn't say all because some of them are not direct shippers some of them like J.B. Hutt J.B. Hutt right. is not a shipper J.B. Hutt is, is obviously their broker and a carrier so you can't broker those you can dispatch those to save the confusion mm -hmm. I will dispatch every last one of them gotcha I mean, I mean I'm just like, that's that's just how I would do it, because you can then keep track of who your clientele is more efficiently, because you know what you dispatch, okay? You have constant contact with them. And not only that, when you're doing the dispatching, you have an opportunity to, 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 to turn one load into four, five, six loads. Right. So if you dispatch a carrier, and he, you send him somewhere, you know where he's going, right? Mm -hmm. Guess what? Find him a load, leave him there, going somewhere else. Just keep that carrier moving. Just keep, just keep it moving. So if you're dispatching, so if you, so if you follow this process of what we just did, and you contacted, let's say all of these, these um, these um, these carriers here, on this um, you contacted all of these carriers out here. Here, here we have one, two, three, four, five, six reefer um carriers. Okay. All of them in Arizona, <laughs> not far away from that sixteen hundred dollar load, and that's probably not the only load in there that's paying like that. That's just one that we found right there, real quick. Let's look. At, let's look at some more. Let's see what we got. We got something here in New Berlin, New York. Let's see what that one's paying. Uh, here's one in in New Berlin, New York. That pays a thousand dollars. It's going from uh, New Berlin to Wellington, Illinois. Oh, I'm willing to bet you that's less than three hundred miles from New York to Illinois. That can't be that far. It can't be that far, and it pays a thousand dollars, and it's a reefer load. That's about three thirty a mile. Exactly. Here's another one going from Plant City, twenty eight hundred bucks. It's picked up in Plant City, Florida. It's going to PA um, Scranton. That's about that's going to be about five. That's going to be about six hundred, six hundred, 
six hundred, go up to seven hundred miles, and it's paying twenty hundred bucks. That's good money. Okay, I mean, and look at all these loads on here, and this is just from one of these, from one of these direct shippers that we're giving you access to, from just one. And you all talk about where the good paying loads are. That's where the good paying loads are. <laughs> That's good what it is. Good paying loads are with the private with. with with the direct ship. So if you want to know where the good paying loads are, that's where they are. But they're not gonna just gonna come drop in your lap. You gotta go get we'll give you access to it, but you gotta go on and find it. And then you've got to do the work in, in in matching a truck with it. And that's all it is to it. All this all this is is just a matchmaker's game. Think think of you all think of yourselves as a uh, like a the trucker's version of e harmony. <laughs> okay, you're matching the <coughs> driver with the perfect load. That's all you're doing. You, you just play a matchmaker, and, and, and when you make a good match, you make good money. That's all this is. Trust me when I tell you this business is not that hard. It's not that hard. It's not hard to build your own book of business. I know there's a lot of firms out there that want to make it seem like it's difficult, it seems like it's more than what it is, but when you break it right down, get down right down to the bottom line of it, each and every last one of you, I promise you, each and every last one of you can book about four or five loads a day. Each and every last one of you. Because I'm telling you, when I was doing this, and I tell people all the time, and, I, and, I, and, and I'm not bragging, I'm just letting you know that I, I know it can be done because when I was just just booking loads, just it's, and just when the load board, like using stuff like this right here, I was booking 10, 11 loads a day. 10 to 11 loads a day. But it requires you to get up every morning about the same time, you know, develop a routine. Treat it like, treat it like work. Not like a hobby. Treat it like work because this is, this is your career. This is how you make your money. This is how you pay your bills. This is how you feed your family. So if you treat it like that, I guarantee you, if you treat it like the last job you have, whatever your last job was or whatever your current main job is now, if you approach this the exact same way you approached your last job, I guarantee you'll make ten times more money than you made at your last job. But, but don't shortcut this and expect it to, to give you more money. Don't shortcut it because all you're doing is you're shortcutting it. You're short. You're short. I'm um, cutting yourself. <laughs> but I don't know, I'm, having a, I'm getting tongue tied here. But you, but you're shortcutting yourself. That's all you're doing. So if you put in a good, you no, know, four, six, eight hours at your job. Well, I'm not saying you put in a full eight hours. So some jobs that you got eight hours there to work, but you may only give them like four good hours. <laughs> okay, but if you gave your last job four good hours out of an eight-hour day, give this one the same four good hours. And if you do that, I promise you, if you do that, you'll see results. And the results will be in your National Hip Bank. Okay? Your National Hip Bank will get bigger and bigger and bigger, and <laughs> harder and harder and harder for you to walk around. I'm telling you right now, this is how this works. This is where your money is made. Okay. All right. So, um, hopefully, everyone understands that this is where your good loads are. This is where those loads are paying. This is how you get access to those good loads, and they're out there and, and companies. So these shippers want their loads moved. They want their loads moved. Okay. All right. Now, and just sitting here, we were able to pick up what two or three. Look at two or three good, great paying loads that you normally don't see loads like that. On the low board, because <laughs> you'll find them on low board, but they're on the they're on the low board. You got to pay a you know some ungodly amount of money for. Which low board is this right here, Kevin? Uh, the one, which one you clicked on? This is a direct shipper. Because um, we just sent out here's what here's what we sent out mm -hmm. uh, on our uh, Facebook. <coughs> right. This is it right here. Ninety one free low boards for truck. Matter of fact, I think I sent everyone a a. A, um, an, an email blast with this in it. Uh -huh. So check the emails. I think it's in your email blast. But this is from that 901 free load boards uh, for truckers. And this particular one is from Sharam Logistics Solutions. 
Got it. And all you do is click on it, and it shows you the available load. Okay. And they've got look like they've got reaper, they've got flatbed, they've got uh, some dry bed. But it looks like they're primarily reefer. Looks like they're primarily reefer loads. And everyone knows that reefer loads pay. Mm -hmm. Okay? Um just grab another one here real quick. Here's another one going from um the Twin Falls down to Modesto, California. It's paying eighteen hundred bucks. Um, you know, that's probably not that far. Hold on a second. You, you, and just give me a, m a moment here. Our previous transport. Okay. Picking up where now again? Brooklyn, Georgia. One moment. Brooklyn. I got you. Brooklyn, Georgia. Madison, oh, Virginia. Man. 520 miles. Total payout is 1200 And Carrier gets 85% of the total payout. Gets 85% of the 1200 Is that going to work for you? Oh. What is it? It is lumber. It is flatbed. Uh, 48,000 pounds. It requires a six-foot tarp. Okay. And, no okay, and 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 what about it is um, you don't like? Because I can pretty much probably find you just what you're looking for. Yeah, well, I, I I don't have the six foot tarp, so. Uh, so you looking for a load that doesn't doesn't require a tarp? Yeah. And you're close to you're close to Booklet, Georgia. I'm a rich man. Richmond Hill, Georgia. Give me a second. Let me see what I can find for you. Uh, you got a minute? Yeah. Okay. Hold on for a second. Let me see what I can find for you. <laughs> Give me just a second. I see just what I can find for you. And you're in Georgia, correct? Yeah. My load search. What part of Georgia are you in? Richmond Hill. Richmond Hill. Richmond Hill, Georgia. You have any partials out there? Any partials? Uh, that's going to be kind of hard to find. You did say Richmond Hill, right? Yeah. R I C H M A N. You say what? Richmond is spelled R I C H M A N. I'm correct. M O N D. Okay, my bad. My bad. I had a brain cramp there. Richmond Hill. Uh, you like partials? The what? Let's say you, 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 you like partials? Um, yeah, I take a partial right now. Okay. okay. All right. So it's going up towards New Jersey. Uh, so, so you're trying to go towards New Jersey. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's see here, NJ. Is there any particular spot in New Jersey you're trying to get to? Yeah. Where might that be? Up around PA area? Yeah, I'm just trying to go home. I got you. I got you. And you're a flatbed, I'm correct? Yeah, well, I actually have a step deck. Okay, that's cool. Let's see what we got here for you. All right, here's what we got. All right, looks like I got some stuff that's about 14 miles away um, in Mildrum, and I got stuff about 15, 16 miles away in Savannah. Um, Savannah is going up to Kings Bay, New Jersey. Is that close to where you want to go? Yeah, what is it? Uh, that is... 
can see here. Bum, 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 bum. It just says there's a flatbed I have to call to find out. It doesn't even tell me what it's paying right now. I have to call the um, the broker to find out what it's paying. Hold on. Let's see what, let's see if I can find you something where I can show you exactly what it's paying already. All right, here we go. All right, we've got one that's going from um, Pulaska, Georgia, which is 48 miles out. It's going to New Wellington, PA, and that one is paying $1,750. And that one looks like it's about 753 miles. Paying seventeen fifty, um, about two dollars and thirty-two cents a mile. What kind of freight is that? Um, space tarps required. Yeah, this requires tarp. You need something with no tarp. That one requires tarp. Unfortunately, is that lumber as well, or what is that? Uh, it's not saying. It's it's not saying exactly what it is. I have a call to find out. Um, it's. So I can call to find out though for you. Okay, well I only have thirty two foot too, so Well you only have thirty two foot? Yeah, yeah. See, see if it's lumber it's not gonna work. Right. Okay. All right. It looks like you got some special stuff going on. Um let me ask you a question. Um uh, can you access on the internet right now? Yeah. Okay. Go to our web go to our website rbbstransport.com, go to the About Us page, okay, click on the dispatch agreement, read it if you like it, sign it and get it back over to us, and I have one of our Are agents, dispatch? yeah, yeah, we can dispatch you and we'll have one of our agents to, to, to just find, find you exactly what you're looking for. Well, I'm just saying, if you want us to find you, you do want us to find you good loads, right? Yeah, well, if you got a load, I'll sign up. If you don't got a load, I'll move on. I'll try and find a load. I'll try and find another load. I mean, if we can't find, I mean, if we can't find your load, you don't pay us anything. I mean, it's really just as simple as that. I mean, we can find you good loads, and and if we can't find it, you don't pay us anything. If we find you good loads and keep yeah, you running. So, so, find me, so find me a load and call me back then. I mean, and, 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 and then I'll sign up. Yeah, I understand that. But we can't legally, we can't legally go to load boards and search for you until we have you under some type of, of agreement. Oh, um, I mean, that, I that's just how it, I, I mean, that's just, that. yeah, I mean, that's just how it works legally, you know? Because yeah. we go to a load board right. and we just, we can't legally just search load boards randomly like that. So you don't have a load then, so. No, I don't have a, I don't have, other than the load you called on, I don't have another load that we have on the contract that will work for you. But because we are a huge, okay. you have a huge dispatch division, we can locate just about anything you want. Okay. Okay. But well, I'm on a load board. I'm on a board. I understand. And we have access to private loads. <laughs> Yeah, because I'm looking at a load right now on a private load board that you don't have access to that's paying six to eight hundred bucks. Paying how much? Paying six to eight hundred dollars. But I can't really discuss that with you because I don't have you I don't have you signed up for anything. Six to eight hundred dollars? Six one six hundred six thousand eight hundred bucks. Six to eight hundred bucks. I, I, I really don't know. All I know is it's a load that's with a private shipper, and we have access to about 91 private shippers and their private load boards, but we can't really discuss with their loads with you until we have you under some type of, of agreement. And our agreement is very simple. If, you, if we don't find your load, don't, I mean, it's still up to you to accept the load. Our job is to find it for you. If, you, if we find your load that's paying $5,000, and you like it, and you take it, that's great, right? If, if you find your load, and you don't like it, you don't take it, that's, I mean, it still works out because you don't owe us anything. 
so you say you have a, you have a load from from the area I'm in to the area I'm going for six. No, I don't. No, 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 no. I haven't looked for the area you're going with that shipper yet, but I'm looking at a load from that oh. shipper. These are the types of loads that this shipper oh. has. I'm just letting you know what type of loads they have on this shipper's site. I know, but you're not telling me anything. That load might be going to California, and, 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 and that would suck to go to California. I understand. $1, but you, you want to go to PA. Yeah. Okay, then let us find your load going to PA. So, but, but I don't quite get why you're just telling me about a $6,800 load if it's not in the lane that I'm trying to go in. I, I understand mean, that. Look, that's, I, I'm, that's, like, I, that's like false advertisement. No, it's not. All I'm trying to get you to see is, all I'm trying to get you to see is this, right? You need loads. You need to find a load. We're in the business. Yeah. We're in the business of finding loads. If you like the loads we find for you, grab it. If you don't, don't. Okay. I mean, okay. you don't lose okay. anything. So tell me this. So, I know, but I signed up with 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 companies like you before, and then they're they're always calling me about loads for a dollar fifty, dollar seventy mile. Well, I'm like that. well, I'm so this load for six, this load for six to eight hundred fifty bucks. How much? How much a mile is that paying? We're talking about the one we just discussed. Yeah. Like two dollars, like two dollars and thirty two cents a mile. Yeah. That's probably going out west somewhere where there's nothing coming back. Yeah. So. No, that's 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 one going. To PA where you want to go, but you don't have the but you don't have the tarp for it though. The sixty-eight hundred dollars. Let me see here. The one that's paying seventeen fifty. It's paying one thousand seven hundred fifty dollars, but you don't have tarp for it. Yeah, but that's but, but that's a lot of lumber. Yeah. Yeah, with six foot tarps. That's not that great. Well. It is if you try to get home. I mean, I mean what do you consider great? I, dude, I don't. It's, I don't put myself in an area somewhere where I have to take cheap freight just to get home. I I'm not fuel my truck to go home. I'm not asking. You, I, I'm I, not asking I'll, you. To, I'll run home. I'll run home empty before yeah, I. Yeah. Look, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not asking. Over you to, backwards and take someone's load for cheap. And, I, I, I just don't run for cheap. And, and I'm not. And, and I'm not asking you to. I'm. I'm asking you. What you consider good freight? If you tell me that you want to run home for four dollars um, per mile, guess what? I look for your load that's paying at least four dollars um, um, per mile. If you tell me a run home is six dollars um, per mile, I look for a load that's paying a minimum of six dollars um, per mile. That's the advantage of having a dispatcher working for you. But I already have a dispatcher working for me. Is what I'm saying. Okay, so is are they? Well, it sounds like me they're doing a great job because you're on the phone with me. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. I mean, I'm just being real with you. If your dispatcher is doing a great job, why are you on the phone with me? Because I'm looking for this. We're looking for a load. Exactly. So let me find you the load you want. Like you're doing, right like you're doing, and you can't find me none. That's because you won't let me. I can't find you one without having you sign up to a dispatch agreement. If you let me, I will. But you gotta let me. You tell you tell me you tell me you have a load in the lane that I'm trying to go in right now. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Look, look. I'm telling you there are. I mean, you, look, you can search. Look, you can search for a load look, if there's a load out there. Look. And you can get access to it. I'll sign up with you. Okay. Look. It's as simple as this. There are loads out there that match what you're looking for. Legally, I can't go and just look for loads if you're not signed up with us. Okay, I mean I'm just being honest with you, but there are loads out there that match what you're looking for. Oh, what well, the rate is on them? And for well, the rate you tell me, look, if you tell me you only want loads that's paying four dollars um, per mile, I'm not gonna send you a load. I'm just paying three fifty. I'm gonna send you a load. I'm just paying four dollars or four oh two or or four twenty or whatever the case may be. If, if that's what you so tell me you're a pool for, I'm not even going to... So yeah. there's a load, so there's a load out there paying $4 a mile for the, for the distance I want to go. There probably I mean, I'm, I'm trying to go in. There, there probably is hey. a load. I, I'm pretty much sure. Probably. Hey, I, mean, I mean, life is probably. I mean, you probably won't get up tomorrow morning. 
Yeah, I'll probably sign up again. Okay, they, they, great. Just go take care of that. <laughs> Call somebody, and I and I promise you, we will look for you a load that starts off paying at whatever you tell us you want to start off at. If you want to start off at three fifty, that's what we'll look for. If you want to start up load, look for it, and it's four dollars, we'll look for just that too. And and if we don't yeah, find it. I, I'm just saying, if there's a load out there now that you can get, let me know and I'll sign up with you. Then sign up with us. If you can't find none, if you don't see none, if you can't find me none, wait, I, I mean, I'm not going to waste my time in signing up with you. Exactly. Look, 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 I can't go and look without you being signed up. I can't put the horse before the carriage. I can't put the carriage, right. I can't put the carriage before the horse. All right, so you don't have a load then. Well, not if you're not signed up, I don't. Exactly. All right, thanks a lot. All right, but now, nah, but really, man, just go sign up and let us find your load. No, I mean, I'm not signing up if you don't got a load. <laughs> being, if you got a load, let me know what it is. Being you don't have a load. I mean, <laughs> look, look. Load course. If you have access to these load course. You can look. You can look for a load in that lane. No, I can't look for a load. I, I can't look for a load unless I have a truck posted, and I can't post your truck without you giving me the okay to do that. But you know that. No. I mean, you know that. That's, no, I didn't know that. That's that's the legality of this business. A broker can't just go to a load board and just search randomly off a load. You have to post a truck. They do all the time. Well, they the, do all the time. Uh, yeah, but they're breaking the rules. Exactly, they, but they do all the time. Well, they, we don't and break. They, and they put, and they and they post loads all the time. And then, well, and look, they don't even have look, the look, look, we don't they break. Hope they get the load. Look, we don't break the rules. Okay. Okay. I mean, I do what you want. I'm sorry. I mean, I, I mean, I find your right, loads. If you got but a load, let me know. I find your loads, but I'm not gonna, but I'm not gonna break the law to do it. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. Bye. Bye. All right. Now that's what I mean. Now when I tell y'all, if I get on the line, they either gonna hang up on me or I'm gonna piss them off. But I'm Calvin, that was that was a classic call, man. Classic. Exactly. But I'm not gonna <laughs> let them go. I'm not gonna let them go. Until they either do what? Because, and that is the type of mentality you have to have. That type of mentality will get you 10 to 11 loads per day. Okay. See, I got it now. And that's why I let that call go on for you all to hear it, because I wanted you all to understand whether this call went good or went bad. I wanted you all to understand the type of mentality you have to have in this business, because you're, you're dealing with people, like, like the guy said, he wants a load that's paying him well. Okay, it's not going to hurt him to sign up with us. Really, it's not. Because if we find him a load, great. If we don't find him a load, but he still doesn't fail in the face. He tells me he's got a dispatcher that, that's doing that. Okay, then why are you on the phone? So, but this is the type, but this is how you have to, this is the type of mentality and tenacity you have to have to make this business work for you. And have fun with it. I mean, come on. I mean, you know, he was getting frustrated, but, but you know, hey, have fun with it. Have fun with it. Don't let it get you down that a guy is giving you every reason in the world not to make money for himself and you. Okay? Have fun with it. Use him as your, as your learning tool for today. Try, try out your new material on him. Try out your new clothes on him. <laughs> you know? And that's what you do. And this is how you learn this business. And this is how you operate this business. And this is how you get good at this business. Because if you can deal with someone like that, and you're not going to get people like that all the time. But if you can deal with someone like that, if you can handle that, the rest of this is just a cakewalk for you. Now, let's get back to showing you all how you make money on these uh, on these low boards, okay? But that was a that was a that was a, that was a great classic call, uh, and people like and people call like that all the time. But but that's how you handle that, okay? Um, you know, turn them, twist them, turn them any kind of way you can, but don't let them go until they either say you know, till they hang up on you, 
or they just plumb right, just get mad at you and just think, don't call me no more. But that's just how I handle that. But anyway, all right, all right. Now, we're going over the uh, the 901 load boards and the things that we give y'all access to. Um, is, there, is there anybody here who don't know how to how to get onto our three primary load boards at 123, um, All Freight Connect, and um, Truckers and Truckers Path. Does everyone know how? Everyone knows how to get onto those load boards, right? Um, I'm going to be putting the the password and username up on our Facebook chat page once again. I'm um, going to let that one go to voicemail real quick, but we're going to let it go to our. Um, I'm going to be putting up, up the the, um, the passwords and usernames on the um, chat room groups again, and I'm going to be sending it out to everybody in an email blast so that you make sure that you have it, uh, so you know how to get in, in into those. Now, real quickly, real quickly, we are going to go over how to um, – we've shown you how to do the cross-booking between the free load boards that we have and how to find the, how to find good loads. And the great thing about this is you can go through these things like this and you can cherry pick. You can and – you, and, and, all of y'all know what cherry picking is, right? Uh, why is someone messaging me in the middle of what you call it? Philip. Okay, yeah, Philip, if you are muted, Philip, you can unmute yourself, Philip. Just hit the mute button if you need to talk. But we mute everyone so we don't have the background noise. That's why we automatically mute you. But here, let me, mute, let me unmute you, Philip, real quick. Philip says that he's muted. I don't. I don't even see if you on here, Philip. But anyway, um, anyway, he'll he'll chime in. Um, but if you need to to unmute yourself, just click the little um, mic button to unmute yourself real quick. Ask your question, then remute yourself. That's all you got to do. Okay. All right. Um, but let's get back to this little board. Show you here. All right, so this is our load board. Let me get this up here. This is our load board. All right, this is our load board here. This is one of our load boards. This is one, two, three load board. If you're on one, two, three load board, if you're just looking for loads, you can go and look just for those because we have trucks that are posted. So you can go in here and you, you can pull up, you know, put in what city and state you're looking for loads in. You can pull up loads. And you can find them, and you call up the broker here, and you let them know that you have the uh, a, a carrier who's interested in that load. Now, let me remind everyone: if you are doing dispatch, do not, I repeat, do not give the other brokers our MC number or DOT number, because if you do that and they put that load underneath our authority, that is double broker. So, do not do that. Please don't do that. If you're dealing with anything that's dispatch, you are giving them the carriers. MC number and DOT number. If a broker asks you for a DOT number, he is asking you for the carrier's information. So as a dispatcher, you are acting as an agent for the carrier. So that's all that is. Okay. So make sure that you give them the carrier's MC number and DOT number when they ask for stuff like that. Unless it's one of our brokered loads, and our broker loads is going to be from Tampa International or one of these uh, ones on this free, uh, on this direct um, loads that we get from the shippers. If you choose to broker one of those. Only then do you give our MC number and DOT number in the case when we're actually brokering the load. That's the load that we are taking responsibility for on our authority, on our insurance, and our bond is the one that's covering. Other than that, it's dispatch. Give them the carrier's info on that. If, a, if you receive a call from a broker like TQL, uh, Landstar, uh, RWI, any of those like that, and they would call and tell you that, hey, you know, we've got, I see you all got a bunch of loads. Uh, we got a bunch of trucks. Let us, help you, let us help you cover some of those. Now, that sounds great on the surface. And then they'll say to you, let's set up a, a co-broker agreement. There's no such thing. A co-broker agreement is double broker, okay? It is not allowed. They'll call it whatever we want to call it. It's still double broker. There is no legal way for two brokers to get paid by the same shipper without it being double broker. If two brokers are being paid by the same shipper, it is double broker. It is illegal. 
if if you if if you get reported doing it, then we could lose our bond. Plain and simple. Don't do it. Okay. The only way, the only way for you to work with another broker is one of you all has to be working for the carrier and being paid by the carrier as a dispatcher. Okay. Both of you cannot be paid from the same shipper load fee. You can't do it. Okay. One of you has to be an agent for the carrier and getting paid by the carrier. That is the only way for you to work with another broker and do it legally. Okay? Let me say this again. You cannot legally broker a load with another broker if you're both being paid by, out of the shipper's load fee. No way for it to be done. There is no such thing as a co-broker agreement. Yes, I understand that people do it. I understand that people get away with it. But if they get reported, they are in trouble. Okay, so we don't do it. Just it's not worth it. Stay away from it. Okay, if they're not willing to subjugate and make themselves uh, paid by the carrier, and they become the dispatcher, and we can broker, or we become the dispatcher and they can broker. If they can't, if they won't do that, then tell them say, no, nah, we just can't work with you. I appreciate you. Thank you, but no thank you. Okay, all right. Let's go on from there. Uh, all right, so back to this load board thing. All right, if you're looking for, when you come on to 123 Load Board, one of the first things you want to do is go to the truck locator. Because you go to the truck locator, all of our loads are, are automatically posted on 123 and Truckers Pass. Okay? Our loads are automatically posted every morning because we send them out every morning, and they post all our loads on it. We have right now uh, 29 loads on 123 that are post loads. These are our brokered loads, these are our contracted loads. Okay, that's what these are. These are our contracted loads. Now, if you want to find trucks, here is how you find trucks on the truck locator. You go to our truck locator on the load board. You see our loads there. When you click on one of our loads, it's going to pull up underneath all the trucks that are within a 75-mile radius of that load. You can change your radius here. Hope you all can still see this. Here is how you can change your radius. If you want to change your radius, you can expand it or you can decrease it all the way down to 225. You can expand it all the way up to 125. Okay, so if you want to expand it to 125 miles, which is kind of far. Most people don't want to deadhead more than 100 miles to go grab a load. So I try to put it at 75. But if you did that, look at what happened. You get a whole bunch more trucks, okay, that are within that 125-mile uh, uh, radius. On the bottom here, it has them all listed with their names, phone number, Type of a type of um, 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 trailer they have. These are all going to be flatbed. Why? Because our load is flatbed. It's not going to give you anything that does not match the load that you have highlighted. It's going to give you the, the company's information, give you the phone number. It's going to give you. Um, uh, it's going to tell you how many deadhead miles they have to make to get to that load, whole nine yards. Okay, and it also gives you the the DOT number and or their MC number over here to the right. If it doesn't have it, make sure you ask them for it. Now, um, show you how this works. This is our load right here. You clicked on it, Decatur, Alabama. That's Decatur, Alabama, right there. It's got to go to Pacific, Missouri. Okay, it's got to go to here, Pacific, Missouri. Okay, that's where it's got to go. These are all the trucks that are within that 125 mile radius. The ones that are close by are the closest. The ones that are further out are the furthest out, obvious. If you click on a truck, it's going to pull up the name of the truck, trucking company. It's going to give you their MC number or their DOT number. It's going to give you their phone number. It's going to tell you they are flatbed. And you can call them up and you say, hey, such and such, such, I see you're right there in Decatur, Alabama. We've got a load that's leaving out here tomorrow morning and it's going up to Missouri. Do you want it? And they're going to say, yeah, I might want that. How much is it paying? And you go look the load up on the load sheet that we send out to you every morning, see what it's paying, let know what it's paying. If he says, great, I'll take it. Great. Let me go ahead and get that book for you. You call, up, you call up Barbara. You book that load. You send us the information. Get the confirmation sheet. We send it over to the carrier. We take it over. We take over uh, from there. We assign that carrier DOT number to your subcarrier group. So when that load drops, gets paid on, TBS then will cut you a check when they cut the carrier a check and cut us a check. Everybody check get cut at the same time, and most checks are most checks are cut the Friday following 
the Friday before when all BOLs are dropped. So if the BOLs are in by Friday at 3 o'clock, TBS would normally have your check ready and your pay process by the following Friday. Okay? If BOLs are in by Friday, 3 o'clock, TBS has your check prepared and ready by the following Friday. Okay? So make sure that you, if you got any loads that you're running, either dispatching or whatever case may be, make sure you send over those BOLs. Be sure you send over the BOLs. Make sure the BOLs get back to us. Some kind of way, make sure they get back to us so we can make sure that you all get paid on. Okay? All right. Uh, that's basically how you find trucks. I mean, and, you, and we've got 29 trucks. Well, we've got 29 loads. If you expand this up to 125 miles, if you expand it down to 75 miles, whatever the case may be, it's going to expand it back down. It's going to, it's going to show you the trucks that, that, still, that, that we have available. Um, there are 16 trucks within 75 miles. If you average that out over 29 trucks, over 29 loads, if each load has approximately that average amount, anywhere from 12 to here's another one that has 13 trucks that match our mile load. So you're going to have anywhere from 10, 16 to 20 trucks to match each load. That's a lot of trucks to call, people. That's a good place to start with finding loads. Just call these guys up and say, hey, I got a load this close to you. You want it. Oh, hey, I see you in such and such and such. I can find your load going to where we need to go. Um, at what price would you want to move your truck for? They say, well, I move for $3 per mile. Then guess what you do? As you can see here, you can go and find some loads that pay a lot more than $3 per mile using the resources and the tools that you already have, the access to the load boards you already have. You have all the access you all need to find whatever load these people are looking for and satisfy them and make money and add them to your book of business. This is how this works. Okay? All right. Any questions on how to use one? One, two, three, load board in finding trucks for our loads. Does anybody have any, anybody have any questions before we move on? I want to make sure we've covered that. Okay, no one has any questions. All right, great. Um, let's go over here to the other one, which is truck loads on Trucker's Path. On Trucker's Path, it pretty much works almost the exact same way. Let's go back here to load. This is how it works on Trucker's Path, okay? On Trucker's Path, it works this way, all right? Um, it's pretty much the same thing, but you can either search for loads or you can search for truck. So if these are our loads, okay? And then it tells us over here um, how many trucks view that load. And if you click on that load in that truck, yeah, there we go. If you click on the load in the truck, it comes over here. It shows you who, who viewed that load. It, it, over here to the right, it shows you who viewed the load that we have posted. And you can call them up. Okay. Now, if you want to search for a truck, you click on truck search, and it's going to do pretty much, pretty much the same thing it did with one, two, three load board. It just looks a little bit differently, that's all. Here we have our load. Here we have the trucks. And down here you have the little spotted areas right here, the little round circle. Those are the trucks that are close to our load. Okay, you click on one of those spotted areas, it pulls up that truck. Same information tells you what their scheduled route is, where they normally go, what they normally like to go to. Gives you their phone number, gives you their, their email address, their DOT number. Tells you that that's a refer load right there, you know, and so on and so on. If that's what you want to, you know, if, you, if you're looking for certain loads and certain type of trucks. All right? So uh, that's how you operate on truck loads, on truckers' path, okay? Um, it's pretty much the same thing. It's giving you access to the loads just like you do on anything else. Uh, hold up a second. RBBS Transport, um, this is Calvin. Uh, we're in the middle of training right now. And very briefly, how can I help you? Oh, uh, Calvin, I was just wanted to call and ask, what can I do to get ready for orientation on Monday? I mean, uh, you know, is there anything that I can do? I'm, you know. Nah, you, um, 
if you got the email, you're going to get a link that's going to it's going to tell you how to log in. Uh, you don't really need right. to bring anything. Just log in and just be ready to um, receive a lot of a lot of information on on procedures and the resource tools that we're going to give you. All right. But but if you want I, but if you want just shoot me um, a text or something and I get back with you a little bit later on. I said just shoot me a text or something and if you have any other questions and I and I get back with you a little later on. We're right in the middle of training right now. All right. All right. Sorry about that. Okay. Um, but this is how you operate on truckloads. It's pretty much the same thing. Um, you have the tools and stuff to find the trucks, find the loads, and things like that. All right. Um, get rid of some of this other stuff. Uh, one of the things that I did want to go over today also, too, is this. Remember, we have... Re we pay referrals. If you're sending over uh, people who are going to be signing up with us, who are going to be coming um, agents with us to, get, to help build their book of business, we pay referrals. If you send over someone who signs up for the for our um, for our normal um, home, for, for the home study guide, and they at the two ninety nine um, rate, you are receiving a fifty dollar referral fee. If you send someone that that's paying the four ninety nine um, um, one, you receive a hundred dollar referral fee. If they're doing just the testing at the 149, you get $25 referral fee. If they do the upgraded one at the 1600, you get a $500 referral fee. If they do the if they do the ultimate package at 10,000, you get a thousand dollar referral fee. Now, uh, if you're sending someone over for a referral, the format is send us an email with your name and your information. The person you are referring, their real name, please do not send us referrals with people's nicknames or Facebook names or things like that. We need their real name. They need to put their real name in when they pay for it. Uh, make sure they have their real name so that we'll know who they are when we're doing this and we'll know who that needs to get paid uh, when, when we do these referrals. Because if you send over um, a name and the name says that, that their name is David Johnson, and that's what you're telling me who it is, but then they sign up under 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 Daryl Jones, then something's wrong. We're not gonna know who Daryl Jones got sent by because the name you should know with us is David Johnson. You understand what I'm saying? So make sure that they match up so that we'll know who gets paid, and we'll have to go back later on trying to trying to backtrack this stuff. Okay, um, just kind of make sure of that. Also, if you dispatch, if you have dispatched. If you have dispatched a load or if you have booked a load, at the end of the week, kind of look through your, your load list and see the um, loads that you've dispatched and put together an email and send it over to us with all the BOLs from those loads. In other words, send us your information, the carrier's um, information, include their, their email address, the broker's information include their phone number and email address and the BOLs from the loads that got dropped that week from that particular uh, transaction, okay? Because um, we need those BOLs in because the BOLs is how everything is processed. Nobody gets paid until the BOLs are in. Without the BOLs, we can't get you paid. We can't get paid. The carriers can't get paid. You all can't get paid without the BOLs. So make sure those BOLs in at the end of the week, kind of go through all your stuff, Total it up, get it over to us so that we can process those BOL and get you all paid uh, by the following week, okay? Um, but that's what we need to do, make sure we stay on top of that and we do that. Another big thing is we have people who are calling in, and we are routing calls over to you all's extension. If you have an extension, we are routing calls to your extension, but about 70% of those calls are coming back unanswered. In other words, you all are not picking up your extensions when calls come in. If you are not available. If you're going to be available, for, if you are available to take calls for the day on our Facebook page, go to our Facebook chat, okay, each morning, and send us something that says, like this person right here says, I'm available, extension 709, Miguel Enrique, okay? Do that for us every morning and let us know that you are available. Or when you become available, send that to us so that we'll know 
when calls come in, we have a list of the people who are available so we can route those calls only to those people who are available. If you are not available, we're not going to be routing calls to you because we don't, we don't need these calls to go unanswered, okay, because every time someone calls up on a load, they're looking to book that load. So let's get those loads booked and try to get you all more money in your pocket and get you all on a, on a, on a continuous basis of booking loads and making money, okay. So make sure that in the mornings or whenever you all become available to take calls, sit, link with us on Facebook, on our Facebook chat group. If you're not on our Facebook chat group, reach out to me or reach out to us at RBBS Transport LLC on Facebook. Send us a message that you want to be added, and we will add you to the chat group. And when you become available, make sure you make yourself available by doing this. I am available at, at your extension, or if you don't have an extension, put your phone number and put your name so that way when calls come in and we're going down the list, we're going we're to be sending those calls over to the people who have made themselves available. So we don't want to continue this process of people calling and then we route them over to an extension and no one picks up. Okay? All right. Any questions on that? Any questions on anything so far? If anybody has a question? Unmute yourself, ask the question. Okay? Does everybody know how to unmute themselves? Let me let me ask that real quick. All right. I think everyone should know how to unmute themselves and ask the question if they have anything. All right. Uh, this is all being recorded, so you all will be able to play this back. I have the court have up and on um, Facebook and on our YouTube channel by tomorrow. So all this is being recorded. So if you're missing it, don't worry about it. It is recorded for you. Okay, all right. Uh, all right. No one has any questions so far on that, right there. Oh, I have a question, real quick. Go ahead. Uh, once we um send over the dispatch agreement to the carrier, and um, do we send a copy of that dispatch agreement over to the broker as well? Well, you can. Once we um, uh, yeah. But what you would normally do is when that dispatch agreement comes from the carrier, the carrier is supposed to be sending that over to us at dispatch at rbbstransport.com, okay? Um, just reiterate with the carrier that that they need to send it over to dispatch at rbbstransport.com or they need to fax it in through, through the fax um, line that we have. If they're faxing it in, make sure they include your information. Now, it, it would be to your advantage if you sent us an, an email also letting us, you know, know this so that way in case they don't do it, you have done it. It's kind of like a redundancy, you know, when they create some type of redundancy. Okay, and also, um, uh, does the carrier pay us on the dispatch agreement, or does the broker pay us? The carrier pays us, and we pay you. But yeah, the car but we are paid by the carrier on the dispatch agreement. And the way we do it is a little bit differently. Uh, we've kind of streamlined the process, and so it becomes real simple because all of our uh, dispatch pay is done through our Square app. We have an app called Square. Um, I'm gonna pull it up for you here and show it to you real quick. Um, Let's show you all are still here. Yeah, we have an app called Square where we pay everybody through. Um, and this is our Square app, uh, and we send our I'm invoices, and we send all of our dispatch invoices are sent out through our Square account. So when a dispatch agreement comes over and it gets booked, and then we and we get the confirmation from the broker, we get the rate confirmation. If the rate is $2,600, we know that our pay is $260. Why? Because we charge 10%, right, on the dispatch fee, right? That's right. All right. All right, great. So if when we get that dispatch fee, when we send it over, we send over what's called an invoice. And the invoice looks something like this. Um, this is what the invoice looks something like, as you can see here. Okay, we, we'll send over an invoice on what is to be paid to us, because we already know what that is at the time of the confirmation, okay? So we send that over along with the confirmation agreement. So the carrier not only has the confirmation agreement of where the load picks up and what it's paying, where it drops off, they also have our invoice on what they owe us, okay? Now, when that load delivers, and they send us the BOLs, and we send that BOL over to the broker, and the broker processes that paperwork, the broker then sends over the stuff showing that that, that, that that they have now uh, paid that out, it's got to come through us. So we know that they, we, we know when the carrier gets paid. 
And as soon as the carrier gets paid, right, we do what? We send them a reminder on the dispatch, on the um, the invoice that the invoice is now due, okay? And all they've got to do is click on it and pay with a debit or credit card, okay? They just click right on it and they pay with a debit or credit card. Real simple. When that debit or credit card payment comes in, we in turn then pays you through our Cash Me app, okay? Uh, from that from from that debit card, uh, from that payment. So that payment goes into our Square account. We then turn around and we send you a a payment on your by Cash Me. And we'll either text it to you or we'll email it to you. All you got to do is click on it and deposit the funds where you want them to deposit, on whatever debit card or whatever bank account you want them to deposit on. If you don't have a Cash Me app, it's going to ask you to download it. All you do is download it. It takes about 30 seconds, and then you can set it up and deposit money wherever you want to deposit it. That's how we pay you on our dispatch loads. Okay, everybody got that? Got it. Thanks for that. I really appreciate it. All right, no problem, no problem. All right. So that's how we pay you on your dispatch load. Uh, we, 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 we streamline the process to make it as easy as possible, make it very simple um, so everybody gets paid, you know, when they need to get paid and keep the process going. All right. Um, okay. I know we've gone over a lot today. We did go over a lot. We went over over the, the 901 free load boards um, um, to the direct shippers. That is a powerful, that's a powerful Two for, for you all right now. Um, so look, people ask all the time, where do we find the good paying load? That is the number one question with every broker, with every truck driver, where do we find the good paying loads? Well, we've just demonstrated to you where do you find the good paying loads at. They are on these private load boards that we have access to now, and you all have access to them. I will be sending them back out to you all tonight. So check your emails, check that group chat page. It, they'll be back on there. The access codes and the usernames and passwords to the uh, other three load boards we have will also be sent out to you all. Uh, all Free Connect is an open source one. You can create your own password and username in that. Okay. Um, these loads that you all get off of these 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 free direct shipper load boards, you can repost them. You can repost them. Just don't put the shipper's information on it. Repost the load, or you can repost it where the pickup drop-off is. Repost what it is, pickup date, and what it pays, and everything. Uh, you know, weight and all that type of stuff. But don't put the shipper's information. Replace the shipper's information with your information, because you want them to do what? Contact you on that load and call you back, so you can book it and get paid for it. So that's all you got to do. Just swap out the shipper's information for your information. You post a load, have the people to call you back on that load. Post them on Facebook, post them on load boards, post them wherever you need to post them so truck drivers can see them. Go to go to one two three load board, go to truck loads, look up our loads, do the um, tr do the truck search, find the trucks that are in the areas of these good paying loads that you just cherry pick, and then you call them up on it and you ask them, say, hey, would you like a load that's paying $6,800? Hey, would you like a load that's paying $5,200? Hey, would you like a load that's paying... Yeah. I mean, I mean this, is how, this is how it's done, okay? Um, yeah, our, our, our goal is to get you all to making money. We need to get you all making money. We need to have you all booking loads on a daily basis, I would love to see each and every last one of you booking seven to ten loads per day. And I know that each and every last one of you can book three to five loads a day. I know you can because it's, cause it, cause it's a no-brainer. If you just follow these steps, if you just do, if you just do this, if you just do this, you can't help but not do it. You can't help but not book loads. Because there are truck drivers out there who are, who want loads, they're looking for loads, okay? You know that they'll take loads that's paying three, four, and five dollars, six dollars per mile. We've shown you that it's easy to find loads that's paying three, four, five dollars, six dollars um, per mile. So why can't you book those loads and make that happen, okay? The question is, you can do it, and I know you can do it, but it takes you all getting the process down. And just being consistent on your process 
of doing it from day to day to day to day. Okay? All right. Are there any other questions? Do, do anyone have any other questions? Okay. All right. If there's no other questions, we're going to get ready. We're going to go ahead and wrap this up. Um, again, I appreciate you all tuning in um, to our weekly training, as we do every week. Uh, we're always here, same back channel, same back time. We'll see you all next next week, next Thursday, 1.15 p.m. We'll do it all over again. Thank you all. I appreciate everyone. You have a good night.